Hey guys, my name is and this is Kamara. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to build Discord.pop up for your server. Today, we are talking about, or we are doing an introduction as commands. So let's get into it. The first thing you'll notice, I remembered to change the version number this time. Hey, I've also added a part 10, just so I know what part we're on. Um, so I don't get lost in translation. Um, but yeah, the first thing we're going to do is we're, uh, is we're going to go to, or we're going to come to our fun cog that we created last video, and import something else. So from Discord.ext dart commands, that'd be useful, import command, and that will be our command. Um, so again, we don't need to add anything here, we just need to do at command. Uh, if you if you would uh, just importing commands on its own, it would be commands.command, let's say with commands.cog, I just like to import everything absolutely implicitly, because it's cleaner and it's actually genuinely faster as well, so um, <laughs> that's something to keep in mind. Um, there are a number of different attributes you can use for a command, so you can do name. Name is technically optional, um, I always use it, so if I do like some command for example, if I were to do uh, some command um, and not have name, uh, the command would be taken, the name of the command would be, uh, take self and see, I'll talk about that in a second, uh, the name of the command, how you invoke it would be some command, so for this bot with our prefix of plus it would be some command and that would be how it works. If if it was like this, some amazing command and then name was uh, cmd for example, uh, we can invoke it with cmd and then it would run some amazing command. We can also have aliases, so aliases and it takes a list of aliases, it doesn't take a tuple of them, I do not know why, there must be some reason. Um, there must be something to do with getting the length of it at some point down the line. We can also say like aliases equals command. Generally you'd have shorter names here, but for the purposes of like C for example. And then either plus command, plus command, or plus C would use this. But it it would uh, generally look at the name first. So you perhaps want to put the full name in there. Uh, and then you also have a hidden. Uh, which is def which is false by default. However, if you do want to hide stuff completely, you can set that to true, and that will not not appear in any default help commands. Um, it won't help you in manual ones, but we'll uh, we'll get to that later because there is a way of redoing the automatic one um, <clears throat> because no one likes the way it looks. There are a number of others. So I think there's like pass context, which is defaulted to true, um, but false for what I can tell doesn't change anything. <laughs> Um, I tried past context equals a false, and it was still complaining about not having a context object, so I don't know. Um, either way, there are others, I don't remember them. These are all the ones you're really going to need. Uh, if you do obviously decide to do more advanced stuff, then you can just look at the documentation. But this is all I'm going to use for now. So we're going to have some, uh, some really simple fun commands. So we're going to have a hello command, and we're going to have alias of, oh, there needs to be a list of hi, even if it's one it needs to be an alias. And we're going to do say hello, <clears throat> and all this is going to do is await ctx.send hello. Um, and we're also going to have, I'll explain what ctx is in a second. Cool. So the ctx is what's defined in Discord the Pi as a context. The context contains a number of different things, and it's it's something that is created when a command is invoked, pretty much. So the context has its own send command, even though it's not a text channel or a member, because um, <clears throat> context uh, dot send I th I think context dot send is pretty much just shorthand for context dot channel dot send. Um, I'm pretty sure those two things do exactly the same thing. You also have a member. Um, which is, no, it's, it's the author, I think. I'm pretty sure it's dot author, um, which is shorthand for ctx.message, which is also the thing it has, dot author. Um, <clears throat> all we need is ctx.send, and essentially the ctx.send is just a reply. Um, so we are replying to the user just saying hello and as you can see we have uh, ctx.author.mention the dot mention attribute of author re replies with a mention string and pings the member I'll quickly show you that command um, 
so if we do plus hello, nothing happens. Why? Genuinely, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing I forgot to do. We need to come into init real quick, and we need to use this on message function. Um, that was not in my notes, so that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use uh, past me as an excuse. Past me is a, was an idiot. Um, there you go, that's a Corby Kevin reference. Anyone anyone knows him? Hey. Um, <clears throat> so all we need to do is self.process commands message. Um, and this on its own is not particularly good form um, because the, it's going to react to every message regardless of who it is. So we need to, well, we don't necessarily need to, but it, it just allows us to have a bit more control. But generally speaking, you would have if not message to author dot bot, um, uh, just to ignore messages from other bots. You could have some other logic for this. So if message dot author dot bot, um, and you'd want to ideally do and not message. Sorry, a message dot author uh, not. <laughs> does not um, message.guild.me I guess would be the easiest way of doing it or something like that and this would uh, fire for every bot but ignore uh, but ignore itself so uh, if message uh, so if message author is not message.guild.me ignore itself there are other ways of doing it so you can have like I think self.user. Or is it self? I forget exactly what it is. It's like self bot. Is it maybe? Self self user. I'm not sure exactly. Um, I I always just try and get the me object from the guild. Um, because it just works a bit better, uh, in my honest opinion. But we don't need to do any of that anyway. So oh, that needs to be in a wait. That needs to be awaited as well. Uh, we can overwrite this with our own logic, we're going to be doing that later in the video, but the default one is pretty good. Um, so we can come back here and, well actually we need to go to the launcher and run it again. And that should now actually, actually reply to us. Uh, hello, there we go. So now hello Cabra, and if we do hi as well, you do hello Cabra, it does the same thing. Uh, you can make that more interesting, should you wish. Uh, so you can maybe just add a quick little bit of a uh, just make it a little bit nicer uh, choice uh, can I have a so hell up oh single quotes if you're in an F string um, single quotes brain no go hey oh <laughs> hey and then I don't know higher or something um, so every time that's f6 <laughs> not f5 uh so every time i don't know why i'm waiting here because the bot actually tells you so every time it does something different so uh this time it said hey this time it said higher that time it said hey again that time it says hello and all that stuff so you can you can kind of, you can kind of uh, customize that and make it your own should you wish um so the next one we're going to make is uh, we're going to make a dice command. I'm just looking at my notes to work out which one I'm going to I should make first because I kind of made these three. Um, I, I kind of have three. I'm going to add a fourth one as well. I think. Um, just going to add that to the notes quickly before I forget. Uh, <laughs> uh, do, do, do. Cool. Because I kind of want to get through kind of all the basics. So roll dice. <clears throat> self, C, self CTX. Then we're going to have our, um, I guess, die string. <laughs> I'm not really sure how you put it. Um, we can essentially do so rolls would be. Hmm. So you'd have a number. Uh, die uh, dice and then value I guess equals die string uh, 
dot split uh, D I should also say this is a string um, so I'll, I'll explain what I'm trying to do with die string in a second but essentially we are now passing an argument in uh, so this is an argument that we pass in to so say if we did uh, like uh, dice uh, 5d5 for example is kind of the sort of thing I'm going for uh, so 5d5 would end up being die string if there was more of them so say 6d7 for example that would just be ignored completely um, it's automatically space delimited um, there are extra ways of, um, of dealing with arguments but we'll get to those in a second um, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get the the number of dice so five and the number of um, and the value of the dice so really we need these to be integers uh, so uh, we can I think we can unpack tuples like this I would be on unpacking a generator but hopefully it'll work um, int a uh, no value for that's kind of a bad thing to put int a uh, no term for that's not much better but we'll go with it um, so essentially that will set the dice number to the number and then whatever um, so you could have something like this so rolls equals we can make that a list uh, well actually there's no point we could just make that a tuple again or make it a generator um, no we should make it a list yeah um, so we can put a result for result in Hmm. Hang on. In range uh, dice, and then it wouldn't be result. It would be uh, rand int, which we need to import one value. Yeah, that should work. <laughs> uh, you can tell I didn't plan this beforehand. Um, so, so, so that should do all our rolls, and then for roll in, actually we can uh, uh, await ctx.send, um, so we can have like a dot join rolls, uh, and then that should just be able to plus that to a equals and then have like an f string in here some rolls that should work <laughs> I guess we'll see um, dice I know 5d6 okay something wrong <laughs> fantastic uh, well there you go those uh, there's our command error handling there uh, coming into effect six times zero expected string oh yeah because join is crap and I hate it um duh. <laughs> ah, we, we've actually got to convert it one by one god damn it string r for r in this is becoming a progressively more and more ugly command but it's fine it's okay it's okay um we're doing this on one line now. I'm determined. Uh, there we go. So two. Okay, we need to add. A, we need to add another space in in here. But I won't bother running it again because why is that not coming back up? Oh, because I'm clicking on the thing. Uh, where is it? Here it is. So we need to do that. Um, as you can see, we've done uh, two plus four plus three plus three plus two equals fourteen. So we have now rolled uh, five dice of six value. Uh, if we go into it here and we we basically just shit it up. Um, if you don't have, uh, there is another bottom aware of that, that does this. Um, and uh, if if you roll like too many, um, it gets a bit weird. So you can do like 60d14 if you wanted to be, or if I don't know, if you had like a really powerful move in D and D, you could do 100d20, uh, and it would just do it. <laughs> it's not the best formatted thing in the world, but it works. It serves a purpose. Um, you can also get it to roll 5,000 D 1,000s and then watch it die. Oh, it actually, it actually errored completely. Um, oh, the, the Discord message was too long. Oh, that's really funny, actually. Um, 
We could probably catch that in the in the command error. Hmm. Uh, Discord errors. Yeah, let, let's actually do that. I've never I've never done that before. Uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a a botch to really do this sort of way, but um. You know what? We'll actually leave that for now. We'll actually leave that for now because we're going to be doing command specific error handling next episode. So we're going to leave that. But that works. That works. Um, so we can now have a, another command called slap. Um, I know alias is hit. <laughs> um, async def slap member. And this is where we're going to be talking about uh, more detailed type hints. So you can have our member equals member. And then we have our reason, uh, we have an optional, no, uh, optional string. So there are a few things to talk about there. Uh, we're going to pass it for a second. First we need to import some stuff. So we can import from, uh, from Discord, import member, and that will get, uh, um, essentially that's just the member class. And then from typing, uh, you don't need to import typing, this just works. Import optional. Now, okay. Uh, so this little, I uh, should be space as well, Pepe. I don't like it like that, but it's Pepe. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so the member is being passed in, it will be passed in as a string, so like an at mention. Uh, so you can pass in an at mention, an ID, or the or just the name bear in mind it is case sensitive there are more advanced ways you can um you can do this you can do custom converters and stuff this is just a discord default converter i might do a video further down the line of custom converters as like uh, episode 10.5 or something um but right now we're just kind of keeping it more on the simple side um so essentially what this will do is it will essentially just say that member is a discord member object now and it will work out exactly who you're talking about so uh, a member will just become a member object it's really quite nice like that um, uh, this asterisk basically means uh, crush all uh, trailing arguments into a single one so if we had say uh, slap I don't know, at me, just as an example, oh, I'll just have it at Carver, um, for being a twat, for example, um, if we didn't have this star, the reason would just be four, um, because these are all space uh, delimited and they count as other arguments, however, because we do have the asterisk, uh, reason is just taken as this whole string here, so that's quite nice. Um, the optional thing here i have no idea what purpose this has outside of discord.py because this is a python thing um i think it's for if you're building libraries um to have optional arguments and stuff it's probably how rand range gets away or like range for example gets away with if you pass one argument it takes the end if you pass two arguments it takes the start and the end um that's probably how, how how it gets away with that. Um, but essentially this just means that the reason does not have to be defined at all. And we can actually set a default value. Now again, Pepe, if you have uh, type hints, your equals has to have spaces in between. It, it I, I don't like it. I don't like this standard of Pepe, but it's a thing that has to happen. It's, I want to be as good a programmer as possible, so I'm going to do the Pepe stuff. Um, <clears throat> And we can just set this as no reason, <clears throat> like that. And if you do that, it will just take it as no reason. If you do do that, you don't need this optional um, thing at all. You can just have reason string equals no reason. But uh, I just want to talk about what the optional does. And it's probably good practice anyway. So you can say, for a really simple Slack command, you can say ctx.send. Um, so you can have ctx.author.mention slapped um, member dot mention for reason uh, member dot member <laughs> that's an interesting one um, I mean you can obviously just have name 
or display name. And we might do, you know, we'll actually show display name. Whoops, it is. Um, uh, so name the name. Uh, the difference between name and display name is that the name returns the username. Display name returns whatever uh, whatever name they use inside the actual server. Uh, I believe Nick works for the same purpose as well, but I don't know. I guess we're gonna try. I I don't know if 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 uh if whether you don't have a nickname this actually works. Um, I've never tested it, so I, I guess I guess we have a reason to now. Um. Oh, I've just got to wait for it to load. Oh, I forgot about all our stupid rolls. <laughs> um, let's see. It's a plus. It'd be slap. Oh, no, it's a slap. I oh, know S4. I oh, don't know. My bot's been really bad. Um, that. Okay, apparently that's still going to do it. I have no idea. Um, for, for being really bad. Uh, no, that just broke instantly. I think I, I, think I mentioned the roll. Bad argument. Object has no attribute original. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, okay, so maybe we don't want original just yet. <laughs> maybe we really want original sometimes. Um, hmm, that's kind of worrying. I was actually going to get rid of original. Uh, or, sorry, bad argument. Um, hmm. oh, what now? Oh yeah, because it's still the same error, isn't it? Bad argument. Uh, it didn't find the member. Why? <laughs> How did it not find the member? It's sitting right there. No, that did definitely try and do the roll instead, um, which is interesting. I don't know why that's happened. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Uh, let's see. Have I, have I set my test account up? I have. Okay, we're going to try it with my test account instead. Because um, I'm not sure entirely what's happening there. Uh, for being really bad. Uh, there we go. Uh, uh, Cobra slats. Oh, yeah. I've got two exclamation marks. Um, for, I guess we could kind of omit this four so it's kind of more naturally passed would that would that make it more naturally I suppose it would um, but regardless you get the idea I'm not sure what was happening with s4 there I think it was to try and take the bot but yeah as you can see our, our Nick has worked I'm gonna get rid of my nickname for a second um, and see if it still works um, XO fire up Oop. None. It doesn't. It doesn't. That's really interesting. Huh. So you do need display name. I was right this whole time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so display name will return however they appear. So right now it'd be Cobra. If I change it back, it'd be. That's interesting. Hmm. I never tested that before. Um. So yeah, you get the idea. Um. It, it it essentially just compiles a list together and it takes a member. If you pass a roll, it doesn't work. Um, and we're also going to have to change that to that. There we go. Uh, so this video has been going on for quite a while, but I do want to show off one more command. Um, name equals echo, 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 echo. Aliases, we could just have like say. Um, of course, it's going to be a list. Async def. Echo message self ctx and then message, yeah, it would be that. So I just got confused there. Um, so we can await uh, ctx.message.delete if we wanted to, of course, we don't have to. We could then send as wait ctx.send um, message, and that would literally. Literally, bleh. what the hell happened to my voice? And that one literally just sent whatever. So, um, Carbara is the best programming channel in in the world. There we go.
There we go, so the bot deletes our message and says that my channel is the best program channel in the world, which is really nice of it. Um, I honestly, that's his own opinion, I can't say. I didn't influence that in any way whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> I was a ridge. Uh, I think it's. Uh, this video is really long, but there was still stuff I actually wanted to talk about. Um, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll do it really quickly. So you can actually have a custom uh, process commands function, which realistically is not super useful, but um, it can come in. It can come in particularly useful sometimes. So we're just going to define uh, process commands here. We're going to uh, give it the message. We're going to say the context equals await self dot get context message and then the class method is just going to be context which we actually need to import I can do it now um, sh that should just work we can hope and pray uh, <laughs> and then we can actually use our if self dot ready so say for example you didn't want your bot to accept commands until uh, the it, it was ready you could uh, then do if self dot command is not none so if a command can actually be found and ctx.guild is not none uh, this will essentially just mean that commands can't be used in DMs um, pretty much you don't have to do it here I just like to do it here because it's pretty easy uh, there are other ways of doing it but why not uh, and then we do self evoke and then we pass the context and then else await ctx.send uh, I don't know, I'm not ready to receive commands. Please wait a few seconds. And then that should just work out the box pretty much. Okay, it's editing me again. You haven't seen me for a few episodes, but you're seeing me in this one, unfortunately. Um, while this is mostly right, um, I did get it a little bit wrong. There was a bug that came up, uh, and I just wanted to fix it. Um, so, so right now what it's doing is it's checking if the bot is ready, and if it's not ready, it's sending this message, regardless of whether or not the user tried to do a command or not. So while, so, so while the bot is booting up, any message is, is going to reply to this. So this actually needs to come first. Uh, so if we just put that there, I'm going to bump that across. That's already a lot better. Bump this across. There we go. Um, so I had the right idea. I just had everything in the wrong order, so that'll work now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Cannot import context from Discord. Is it discord.ext.commands? It's almost certainly. <laughs> um, Kira was thinking I was smart. Uh, and then we'll just. No, we won't do it there. Because it's. That looks ugly. So commands import context. There we go. That's the fastest, most accurate thing I've ever typed in my life. <clears throat> so if we quickly try and do one now. There we go. Now we'll. <laughs> We just about did it on time. I'm not ready to receive commands, please wait a few seconds. And if we do our use our slap command, it'll then do it properly. It'll just actually do a thing. Um, there we go. So two does uh, four plus six, five. Everything works fine. So that is a pretty long introduction to commands. That video was a lot longer than I kind of thought it would be, but there's quite a lot to talk about with commands. Um, <clears throat> Next time, I think we're doing command-specific error handling, so we're not done with commands yet. We're not going to be done with commands for quite some time. Um, so, yay. Uh, but if you like the video, then so down below. And remember to... Nope, that's not what I was going to say at all. If you like the video, so hold on down below. If you have any questions, then feel free to put them down below as well, or join the Discord server in the description. If you really like the video, then consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you really, really like the video, then consider supporting me on Patreon, because it would be a really cool thing to do, but of course, you don't have to. Next time, as I said, we're doing command-specific error handling, so I'll see you then.